Hello, uh, this is a video of my vintage bagatelle game. Uh, it used to belong to my great granddad and I used to go to his house when I was very young and play it. Uh, I inherited it when he passed away, sadly, a good few years ago now. Um, bagatelle was the forerunner to modern pinball that we all know nowadays. It originated in France in the 1700s as an indoor game where the well-to-do would gather socially to play it and see who could get the highest score. Uh, there may have been gambling and al alcohol involved. It became popular in America from the late 1700s when French soldiers brought it over during the American Revolution. The objective of the game is to use the plunger to propel the ball bearings up the inclined table until gravity causes it to roll back down hopefully into a high scoring pocket. There are various pins dotted around the table where the balls can bounce off and change the direction. This is where the name pinball came from and it was adapted further with flippers and then electrified to become the game we know today. There are nine ball bearings in total and when all nine have been used the player adds up the total score and the next player has to try and beat it. The player with the highest score is declared the winner. Uh, it's very difficult to land the ball in the highest score in 150 pocket and I hardly ever get it in there. If you land in the all dead balls return pocket any balls that fall to the bottom without scoring can be replayed. This particular table was manufactured by the Chad Valley Company in England and it says on the ball bearing cover lid by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, which dates this table from around 1950 to the early 60s. Uh, the Chad Valley brand still exists today, and they do still make a couple of tabletop games, uh, but no bagatelle and definitely nothing like this. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and now I'm going to see if I can beat my high score.